site. It's already done. And we're just going to fine tune everything, but you know, as you can see, the structure is is already there. So this is our um, our toolbar that we're going to use throughout this whole thing. It just kind of floats here. You can move it around, though. Um, I'm going to first start out with the style and the colors, um, so you can just kind of get a feel of the website as we go. So all of these preset styles and colors are already in here. You don't have to think about it. However, if you do want to, you can change them. So I'm just going to go, we'll pick this one. So it changes it instantly. The, any change that you make, it's a live update. You don't have to hit save and refresh or anything like that. It automatically just posts it for you, which is amazing. So for some reason, if you do want to change any of the colors, like the green or the black or anything, you can change them right here at any time. So that's the scheme that I'm going to pick. Here's my colors. Uh, one thing that I want to do is I want to make my links so they're not blue. I want to have them be this dark color here. So I'm going to just paste that color number right over there, and it makes the change instantly. Um, so this is a color for the whole website. Um, for the background, I'm going to leave that, but I want to do a gradient. So all this stuff is built in. It makes it so easy. I, I can't even say enough how easy it is to just throw together a website. So you can have a website for your main business. You can make, with, the, with our control panel, you just you can buy another domain and include it with your hosting. You can throw up another um, site, a web presence builder website, and um, we've done it in a half an hour of this ovali.info that, that I'm going to show you in a little bit. Um, so you can throw them together. If you have a marketing campaign, um, you can throw together a website for it really quick. It's easy, and you can do it yourself. You don't have to have someone do it for you. Um, so there we just added a gradient to the background here. So the next one I'm going to click on is, is uh, fonts. I'm going to go through here. I like Arial myself, so I'm just going to um, check that. And then for these guys, we'll change that. It's just all in one place. I can't say enough how easy it is. Here's the borders that Adam touched on. Um, I'm, it'll add these instantly, puts them in there for you. I'm going to add an external site border. These are really great. They look awesome. So I'm going to hit OK really quick. You can even make this guy navigation. Let's touch on that really quick. You just hit Edit. And if you want to change the um, format of those, let's take off the underline, make it bold. And you can do it for all the different um, types of links. Change the font. Select it. We just want to make that all the same. So we'll take off the underline, make it bold. So now they just look great. And then let's say we want to move this. So you just drag it down and drop it where you want it to go. It's that easy. Um, so let's start with the header next. So right now um, I have my site name in this one. I have the tagline, and I have the logo all appearing. If you want some of those or none of those, that's fine. You can have them. Um, choose what you want here. Um, for now, I'm going to change the image, though. And again, with all of their images, oops, just one second here. They have them in a gallery that you can choose from. You can upload your own also. And so you can just go through all these. There's just pages and pages and pages. Um, since I'm a bakery today, I'm just going to search for cake. And we'll just pick that one. Looks good. Okay, so now on to the tagline and everything. I don't want those on there. I'm going to put a logo on there. So what I'm going to do here is just click on the logo, browse, find the file, put that in there. Now it's in there. You can just drag it around wherever you want it, and your logo's on there, and the layout's done. I'll show you where the layout is. Adam kind of touched on this a little bit. And um, let's say you want to add some sidebars. So you just click Add Sidebars. You can add one. You can add two. You can change the width of them. Um, here's the um, 
site width for the whole website. You can change that. You can have it be fixed or liquid. Fixed is set, so it always stays the same size. Liquid is going to be a percentage of the viewer's browser. So depending on what size um, screen resolution they have, it's going to vary a little bit. Um, so I always like to hit fixed.